Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Libra for November of 2020. So let's see what's going on. If you haven't been to my channel, welcome. I'm a spiritual empowerment coach and healer, and I help women heal from toxic relationships by healing their childhood trauma. All right, if you haven't heard, I also have a new course that I just put out, which is called Unleash Your Divine Self and Manifest Your Abundance. So if you are looking to really connect to your higher self and um, manifest the things that you want to bring into your life, if you're trying to manifest and it's not working, uh, this course is definitely for you. So you can check out the details. Early bird pricing does end on November 1st. You can check that out in the description box in the comments below. All right, let's see what is going on. What messages does Spirit have for you? Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I do go live every Tuesday with different videos at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, what is the last card? Okay, beautiful energy this month. So, ooh, with the deck turned upside down, which never happens, the Magician. So this is your manifestation card. So you might be manifesting something this month. Now, the overall energy is the Nine of Pentacles. Now, this is my single card. So if it might be that you're going to be single this month and you're going to be working on yourself. Um, it could also mean that you're just going to be more independent, um, really kind of doing things on your own this month. But you've got the Star card with the Four of Wands and the Knight of Swords. So this is telling me that, you know, you're trying to maybe listen to your intuition, connect to your intuition with the star, you might be giving too much here because I see her pouring this out. Um, so just be careful with that balance. There's definitely going to be some communication here that's needed with the Knight of Swords. So it definitely could be rocky here um, with this communication that might be coming in. You might be trying to do something good, but with the Four of Wands and the Knight of Swords here, it could be not as smooth as you think it might be. Okay. In the middle of the month here, you've got the Moon card with the Ten of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. So this is telling me here that there's shadows, shadows coming out, um, things that still need to be healed within. Again, this could go back to childhood, um, but you've got the Ten of Cups there. So again, this is about family life So and the Wheel of Fortune here. So when you face your shadows is what I'm getting. When you face things that have happened in the past, that childhood trauma, um, even things that maybe weren't so much in your childhood, but it has to do with family and home life here. You get the wall, you get the wheel turning here. And at the end of the month, we've got the two of swords with the king of cups and the page of cups. And with the two of swords, this is about keeping yourself stuck. So it might be something that you've been resisting for a long time here about facing the shadows, facing and when I talk about shadows, it's really kind of the darkness that's within, the, the energy that sits inside of us that causes us to get triggered when things happen, um, causes us anxiety and depression and all of that. Like you might, you kind of like might be resisting that towards the end of this month or have resisted it. Remember, these are general readings, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Uh, but you've got the King of Cups with the Page of Cups, with the Page of Cups as well. So I'm feeling like once you let your guard down, it's about letting that guard down is what I'm hearing. You, you will automatically step into this new energy for you about love and seeing things with love. And that doesn't mean it has to be all like peace, love and happiness, but like you start to see things in a different way. You start to see things in a more positive way. You let go of some judgment. You let go of this rockiness over here that causes communication to be that way. I'm going to pull um, three. I'm getting number three. Three more cards from this deck. Can you clarify what's happening here in the month of November? What are we resisting? What shadows do we have to face? For Libra for November, please. Yeah, bondage, issues of control and freedom. Celebration. Three of Cups there and caring for yourself. Yeah, so you might feel as though you have no control. You might feel as though you need that freedom, which is this Nine of Pentacles. So you might feel as though you need to be by yourself or you need to do things on your own um, because maybe you do have that control 
that when you are in control, you're happy. And this could be one of the things that we have to work on with the moon card because issues of control usually come from that childhood. So definitely realizing that these two kind of come together. So you feel bonded, even though, you know, bondage and freedom is very contradictive of itself. So therefore, the, the control that you have makes you feel free. But in reality, it's actually a bondage issue is that it's, you know, when you feel in control, it feels good to you. But when you don't feel in control, that's when it gets scary and uncomfortable. And that should be something that maybe you heal with the moon this month. So we also have three of cups, which is celebration and bounty here. So definitely, you know, um, kind of like celebrating yourself. You've got the wheel of fortune. So like reflect on your life here and see all the good that has come from it where you were and where you are and really start to reflect because you also have the eight of swords here which is caring for yourself so make sure that you're spending time on yourself make sure that you're working on yourself and also healing yourself here as well okay it's very really important for the month of november they're making me feel like if you go into december having worked on yourself in november it's going to be a really different month for you versus if you just keep going the way that you're going and here, again, living with love. So name all the things you love. And it says, you are one of them. And this goes right along with this caring for yourself. Today's mantra, I give myself all the love and attention I need. So really, this month is about focusing on you. Uh, getting to the roots of the issue. Healing yourself. Focusing on your mindset. Focusing on the language that you use. All this good stuff. I, this is all my stuff I teach in the course, but... Um, definitely, you know, don't forget that you should be the number one thing that you love. And a lot of the times when you ask somebody, you know, name all the things that you love, you're never on that list. So make sure that you're on that list. Make sure that you care for yourself. Make sure that you, um, you know, if you feel the need to like to start to heal yourself. Uh, I also have my from pain to power mentorship. If you do want to heal your childhood, you can look in the description box for that as well to, uh, see more details on that. But Definitely focus on you this month. Focus on being more independent, knowing yourself better, understanding yourself better. All right. I hope that resonates with you. If you do want to join us in the Unleash Your Divine Self and Manifest Your Abundance course, you can find all those juicy details down in the description box in the comments. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and I will talk to you guys soon. Much love to all of you. Bye-bye.